everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really lovely tissue box cover. Now I have made these in the past, but it was actually before my YouTube channel. My mum's made these a lot and she follows a tutorial by a lady called Elizabeth Shannon on YouTube. She made one some years ago now and I just thought, you know, I haven't done one on a YouTube tutorial. So, on a YouTube tutorial? I haven't done one as a tutorial on YouTube. So yeah, really easy to do, very quick, and it's just a great way to cover up these kind of boxes. So this is a kid's theme, but they are actually cheaper, I find anyway. So yeah, you just slide them inside there and the tissues poke out the top. But, so for this one, I used the Secret Garden papers and it was this one here. So that's how that paper pack looks like. I know there'll be a few of you that already have this now, but I'm gonna make one for myself. I'm going to be using Happy You for my one today. So absolutely adore this paper pack. Love the rose gold, all that foiling throughout. It's just beautiful. And I'm using, it's gorgeous. Where is it? I'm sure I had another sheet. This one here. Oh, it's one of my favourites in the pack. And I thought I want that one to be on something that I'm going to be keeping. So at least then I get to appreciate it all the time. So I've gone ahead and cut everything. I've already prepared one side so this is what we're going to be doing so you will have two of these sides and then the top so really straightforward but you can see there there's two sides how lovely that print is absolutely love it so you need two pieces of nine and a quarter by five and a quarter and along the nine and a quarter side you want to score at four and three eighths and eight and three quarters and that will leave you with a half inch tab at the end here then rotate and you want to score at four and three quarters all the way down okay you want to do that twice then you'll need four pieces of pattern paper that are four and a quarter by four and five eighths sides are actually more rectangular because it's a taller it's taller than it is wider so those aren't exact squares but the top piece is an exact square and this is four and three quarters squared and you'll want one piece of that. Okay, so two pieces of that size, four pieces of decorative paper and then your square for the top. Okay, so once you've scored everything, you just need to burnish those score lines. So I'm just gonna go and do that. Okay, and then we want to do a little bit of cutting. So turn it around so you've got this long tab facing you and this tab should be on the left-hand side. There'll be a small square in the top left-hand corner you want to remove that completely, like so. And then you want to take a little wedge off of the ends of the tab there on the side, okay, just so we don't have anything sticking out. And then in the middle here, you're gonna cut right down just to the first score line. And I'm just cutting a little wedge out, so I'm just removing the score line. Oops, still attached there, just take that bit out, like so. Okay, and you can take a little bit off that corner as well if you want. Don't wanna to take too much off because you are gonna be sticking these over one another once we put it all together okay so you want to do that twice so this is what you will have and then with your decorative paper you want to stick them all over the top now I have cut these so that they are almost exactly the same size as that square area if you want to have yours smaller and you may want to have more of a border you may want to mat and layer it so it's entirely up to you but I just wanted to pretty much have the whole box sides be this pattern paper without too much of a frame. So I'm just going to stick those two down. Okay, so that's that all stuck together. Next we are going to stick these two together like this. You want all these tabs to be at the top, okay? Because the bottom's completely open because obviously we slide it over the tissue box. So I'm just going to use some glue here and just cover that tab. You can use your double-sided tape, you can use your red liner tape, you can use any of your liquid glues, it's entirely up to you, but you want something strong, especially if you're going to keep this, obviously, for some time. The one my mum has, she has had for years, <laughs> so yeah, they do last. Okay, and then flip it all over, fold that side in to the middle, and this one is going to stick right over the top, so again, just going to pop some of my glue along here. And you want to make sure that the whole thing lies nice and flat and that way you know that all of your sides will be equal when you come to put it together. You don't want to be slightly crooked or it, it kind of buckling a little bit like that. It needs to be able to lie nice and flat. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Next what you're going to do is all these bits are going to fold. If you do two opposites, fold them in first and then fold the others. We're going to add some glue just onto the corners 
of the ones that we folded down first and then we're going to just stick down these ones here. So you want to make sure you keep it nice and square. Now you can use your grid so I can line mine up here along my grid lines and that top one there and I've got my dots there and I know that's completely square so I'm just going to hold that there for a second. You can also turn it upside down which may work a bit better like so and then you can grab your bone folder and just push it down on those corners. Okay so that is now what you should have and you can now, if I grab my tissue box here, just check it and it fits really nicely over the top and look already that's transformed it. I love this paper so much. And okay next we're going to prepare our lid. So this piece here will literally just stick over the top there like this. But first of all we need to make our opening for the tissue to come out. So this is the tonic stitched oval dies. I use these so much, I really do. They, they are just, yeah, they're great. So let me just remember which ones I've used here. So, okay, so I've got all my oval dies that I'm gonna be using and I'm starting off with the smallest one and that is actually the one that just creates the opening. These are the ones that I'm gonna be using in a moment are just purely decorative and that, you know, one will give you this silver frame and the other one will give you that purple frame. So this one here measures, and you can have circle, you can have a square, it's entirely up to you. Obviously some of you will use your digital machines to cut it, but this width of the oval is two and three eighths of an inch by one and seven eighths of an inch. You just want obviously it to be enough room for the tissue to come through, which you can see there, that's, there's plenty of room, that, you know, that's not catching or anything. So I'm just gonna stick that on there like so and I'm just going to run that through my machine okay so that's that one cut I'm just going to carefully take that off like so okay so I've got a nice hole there for my tissue to come through now one thing I will also say is make sure that you don't do your first this this hole with a scalloped or decorative edge because if you pull your tissue through and you've got something that's maybe a scallop edge that's got lots of little maybe points it's just going to rip your tissue so I do you know I would say really make sure that this is just a flat you know opening it's not going to catch on anything so now again you can see how that's going to look and it just straight away very quickly transforms into a tissue box okay so now I'm going to create the frame so first of all I'm going to cut the thin one that I've got so I'm just going to grab my little mini machine here and I want to get as much as this of this glitter as possible because obviously that's going to match so I'm just going to grab my tape and you just want to make sure that you get a nice even frame so I've got the outer one and then you just want to move the middle one until you you know you get it perfect really that you've got an equal like I said frame between the two so I'm just going to stick those there okay so now I get this really cool frame and that is going to sit around there perfectly okay so you can just see how that looks it doesn't look much at the minute because now I'm going to cut the larger one so for the larger one again I want the smallest frame so the original frame that you cut the initial hole with and then this larger one here so it's up to you how large you want it you can see how thick that's going to be so just play around until you obviously find something that suits what you're doing and for that one I'm going to use this marble paper so this is just some scrap left over from when I made the other gift box the with all the flowers the bouquet one so again you want to do exactly the same thing so you just want to make sure that you've got the middle one dead center and then just sit that there and again get that one cut and again you will get that frame so what will happen is that frame is going to sit all so we're going to stick this little frame over the top of the bigger frame and then all of that will stick over that one there. You're probably not really picking that up because actually when I look now it's very, mm, I'm not sure if I like that larger one. I love the, the middle one but that larger one needs to be a darker colour so I'm going to cut that one again. Okay, so now I've done it and I'm much, much um, happier with it. So I'm just going to first of all stick the larger one down. So I'm just adding some glue and you want to make sure the middle oval should be obviously the same size as the actual hole. So I'm just going to move that around until I've got it perfectly lined up like so. And then this one here, I'm actually just going to put a very thin bit of glue around the very inner 
edge of that larger piece that I've just stuck down and that way I know that this is going to stick and plus the Tombow glue stays nice and tacky so you only need a very very thin amount and now I can just I've got a little bit of time to be able to stick that down so it just gives it a nice little bit of shine on the two layers there you can see yeah I like that so now that is going to stick right over the top and if I bring it up you can see how it's all coming together so you can either go around and stick on all four sides there I'm actually going to apply my glue directly onto these tabs because that way I know kind of the area to cover okay and then choose obviously if you've got a preference to the front or back I'm not really too worried so I'm just Make sure that all sits nice and straight. And then again, if you turn it over, you can go in there and just push down on all those sides, like so. And again, I'm just going to take that one off and pop that one on there. Voila. Now you can decorate this even more. It's entirely up to you. I actually am going to just keep mine plain. I just want to just see this lovely paper. That's all I want to do. Whereas on that one there you can see I've just kind of customised it there for my nan. But you can go and decorate every side if you want. Within this collection there are so many kind of, you know, bits that match. You've got the sequin mix, you've got these here, you've got these lovely little charms. There's the washi tape, there are the paper flowers, so of course you could add them to it. And then you've got the frames, there's some bits that I die cut from one of the paper packs. And then also... You have these topper pieces, these embellishments. I mean, I might maybe put one of those embellishments on each of the corners. You've got the stickers there and you've got the ribbon. So there is a lot within this collection that matches, you know, for you to be able to obviously dress that up a bit more if you wanted to. Okay, so I decided to just stick those four little gemstones there on the corners and actually quite like that, but that's it. I'm not going to do any more decorations. So yeah, there are my tissue box covers. So I hope you like them. Please give me a thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.